Uh, when it comes to uh, bringing kids to drag shows, which was you know dominating the discourse during Pride Month, it seems like a lot of people have a innate moral disgust at something like that, but then have a difficulty actually arguing the point, bringing to words what why they think kids should not be at drag shows, non-sexualized, if that's even possible, uh, non-sexualized drag shows. So I was wondering, I don't think I've ever heard you talk about this, Destiny, where your position is on this. Um, if it's non-sexualized, I don't think it matters. If people mm -hmm. are against it and they're having a hard time articulating it, what they probably want to say is that they, they're kind of opposed to that whole culture in general and exposing children to it is a bit uh, irresponsible because they think it'll either turn them gay or get them interested in something that they consider immoral. But it might be hard for them to, they won't want to enunciate that, but that would be my guess. Isn't nice. it wrong to just pervert children, though? Well, but like pervert is begging them. the question. Like again, if you think that LGBT uh, stuff is perverse, I was then, I was about yeah. to I was about to. Oh yeah, sorry, go for it. Yeah. Saying, if you'd be quiet for a second, okay. uh, you pervert children by introducing them to explicitly sexual content. As well, but the children. whole goal, well, what he said was that it was a non-sexual drag show, right? If that's possible, like, yeah, of course yeah, it's possible. If that's possible, but no, it, well, I mean, like, probable? Is, some people consider drag inherently sexual, like impossible to to separate. I mean, many of the um, examples that we see very obviously are sexual. That is true. Yeah, I mean, if if it's, I mean, like if it's a sexual thing, then it's probably not appropriate for children. If it's not sexual, then it's it probably not even is. Probably, it's not even probably. It's definitely not appropriate because what it does is it violates the sanctity of their innocence. Okay, well, okay, so no one cares about this. If it's if it's going to no, be they inherently, do. Oh, wait, they wait, absolutely if it's, do. If it's an inherently sexual thing. Then the you answer should be, care about this as a father. Frankly. No, what I'm saying is that I, if you're playing games with the definitions of things, then obviously my answer no. is going to change. So the no, initial my question, definition has been completely concrete here. That's fine, but you didn't ask the question. Sitch did. Sitch's initial question said non-sexual drag shows. Insofar as there's a non-sexual drag show, it would appear to me that it would be basically the same as any costume party thing that mm -hmm. you might take kids to, pageants or whatever the fuck. But if it was an inherently sexual thing, well, now it's a fundamentally different question. You probably shouldn't be taking children to sexual things like that. That'd be my guess. But, but, it's, that's, but it's probable, though. That's the problem is like if, if you or other people view that drag can be separated from sexuality, then you say, oh, you know, it's just guys dressed up in costumes. But if Carl and other people say, no, all drag is inherently sexual, then obviously that's where they're coming from. I mean, what drag isn't sexual? I mean, do you think that all of dancing is inherently sexual? No. I didn't ask that question. What drag isn't se sexual? I don't know if men just wearing women's clothing is inherently sexual. Yeah, is but it? that's not what drag is. It's not, drag is a whole performance, right? Yeah, I thought the performance is that some like men well, can will you wear give me like an example, like send me a link to. I haven't been to sexual. a drag show. I don't go to drag shows. I haven't seen any of that <laughs> no, shit. I, I, I haven't school. either. But you see my clips of it all over the internet, right? So no, I don't there, see what I'm probably going to see on the internet is going to be the most hyper crazy shit that conservatives can find to get riled up over. I, sh I should my understanding, find all sorts of things. Sure, my understanding is that a drag show is just men that wear hyper exaggerated, hyper feminine clothing. So it'll be insane hmm. makeup, huge wigs, huge high heels, big billowy dresses, or like really sexy shit or whatever. That, that That's my understanding for what like a drag show is. Now, if they, if they, maybe some these days, or maybe it's different, or maybe people disagree that they also involve some sexual element, that might be it too. But I, I haven't heard that. I thought the drag shows were just men that like, kind of like do the thing where they're wearing like the hyper ultra feminist or, or uh, female clothing. I don't know, man. They always seem to be sexualized to me. Well, of well, course, if you're, hold on. You acknowledge, you must understand that if you're on conservative parts of the internet seeing clips of drag shows, you're, you're like the selection bias there is, of course, you're only going to be seeing the most hypersexualized ones. Feel free to send right? me the non sexualized ones. Wait, wait, do you recognize that or are you actually totally blind to that? Feel free to send me the non sexualized ones. Wait, wait, do you recognize that? Are you totally you're the one blind who to said that? he couldn't find any. Tell me. Okay, if I hang out on all of leftist internet and I'm looking at like clips of people like in churches or whatever, and then I come to you saying, this is what everybody acts like in a church. I'm not interested in answering your hypothetical. Show me the non sexualized drag. Okay. Do you want me to look for? Yeah. If you okay. if you think it exists, I'll show me it, and I'll say, okay, if that's not sexualizing it, obviously not sexual. <clears throat> okay, sure. So because that's Twitch, not violating. Just send him so a screenshot of Mrs. Sure, Doubtfire. So, so TwitchCon um, Amsterdam. You Is guys tell me right or wrong. I only turned it for a little bit. So TwitchCon uh, Amsterdam just had people doing drag for the uh, intro thing, and I don't think they did anything sexual for that. Is that that qualify? I don't know. Have to send me. I haven't seen it. Well, so. But I'm not saying it can't happen. Right, but I'm saying I've never seen an example. If you had a drag show where it's just guys wearing, you know, not dresses that are not, you know, sexualized, they're covering everything or whatever, you know, they're still just doing, they're walking down the runway and people are applauding or cheering or whatever. You would say that that's fine as long yeah, as it's the, not. The question is of intent, right? What's the purpose of this? 
And I don't well, know what the purpose of it is. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here I'm sending, this is an America's Got Talent show. Tell me if this is, if you consider any part of this sexual. I'm scrolling through sure. it and it doesn't seem to be. Guys, I just want to say thank you for coming on the show today. And this is <laughs> PSA Sitch and my, this is my work wife and my anniversary. So let's keep it civil today. <laughs> well, First of all, yeah, you're this, my this, work wife. Well, okay. well, well we're so. I don't celebrating. know if this is what I would call drag. Like, I'm not sure if this is drag, but this is definitely non sexual. Mm-hmm. Or at least the, it I'm passed. scrubbing through it. The guy's dressed as like a clown and stuff. So, like, you know, this doesn't this doesn't look inappropriate. But then I don't know if I call this drag. This just seems like you know dress up in female stuff. He's got hyper pink, no, like six female. inch heels, the pink wig. None of this is well at two twenty six. That's like uh, like Renaissance French costumes. And another point, he's wearing uh, a clown outfit. I mean, yeah, this is. Down. I mean, this is like I obviously. Don't know if I'd call it's, female, but there's obviously but even, a queer then, aesthetic if, being hit if, here, but I don't know if I'd call this. Let, let's, just, let's say that these okay. were, these were I'll look for I'll look for more right? drag examples. No, no, well, I just fine. I don't I'm happy I don't to think say having that, let's just assume that it would look like this. Mm-hmm. That's fine. This is non-sexual. And let's assume that French clothes are in fact women's clothes. Uh that's fine. Okay, we we have an example of non-sexualized drag. That's fine. Okay, so you so Wait, you but then does actually... that like change your whole opinion on it or it doesn't change my opinion on sexualized performances being shown to children. But this doesn't appear to be a sexualized performance, and it doesn't appear to right. be shown to children. Even if it was, because it's not a sexualized performance, I don't see a problem with it. So you're, so you, so you would agree with Destiny. You have the same position. You're fine with drag shows as long as they're not sexualized. I don't know if I call this drag though. Well, I'm just saying I mean, if there's a hypothetical one. If, that... if this is drag, and okay. I don't know that it is. What, okay. What about then, this RuPaul sure. shit? Most watched drag race performance 2021, <laughs> where it looks like they're doing like song and dance and shit like this. I think we would probably consider this drag or yeah, it's RuPaul. So yeah, I mean, definitely. Sure. Now it it might, we might consider it drag because some of the dancing is like, they might do hip thrust or whatever. I don't know what people dance well, crazy these just, days. The, well, there's the, a the general quality of our culture these days. There, sure. There's a topless guy in a tutu gyrating, <laughs> getting dollar bills thrown on stage. So okay. Know. So this, this seems to be lurching into that sort of dodgy territory. Doesn't sure. It? But it's not doing so in a way that's unique to drag. It's just where the culture is for dancing, right? Like people freak sure. out with Miley well, Cyrus and all that shit in the past because it was like getting sexualized or shit yeah, like that. Right. Fair, do you really want like a five-year-old watching Miley Cyrus? Sure. Like, what, but, was the, uh, what, was the, what was the <laughs> one that wouldn't let the, 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 the one who did wet ass pussy who was doing like an Instagram video and had the song on and her kid came in and she took, made the kid leave the room <laughs> when her song was on. Nicki right? Minaj. Sure, maybe. So, yeah. I'm just saying that, that like so what we we're talking about, they, they, the, the author of the thing themselves thinks that's not appropriate for children. Sure. What I'm saying though, is that like, it seems like the issue then isn't intrinsically tied to drag. It's just sexual performances in front of children. Right, yes, which I think we right. probably all agree is probably not an okay thing. In so far as about it. if a drag show exists that isn't sexualized, if we can even conceive of one, then sure. that's then it's probably okay if there's nothing sexual. I love everyone in chat yeah. is saying to bring up pantomime drag as a UK thing. I don't know what the fuck that means, but oh, um, again, well, yeah, I mean, if you if that's drag, the thing is, I only ever see the the word drag being applied in the context of like you know parades and things like this uh so it's always in an in- innately sexualized context like pantomime isn't sexualized obviously but then it's never called drag it's called pantomime so okay know. but i mean i don't, it's I don't know I, don't, I have no idea a man, I don't know a man British dresses shit, up as a fat woman for comic effect right sure uh but it's obviously not sexualized because for kids okay I'm well. I'm kind of surprised, Carl, because I thought you would have taken a hard stance against kids at drag shows, regardless of the sexual well, content. I, I don't know whether we actually are defining drag as something that's in, intrinsically or not necessarily sexualized. Like it might well be. Well, like what is what is happening at a drag, drag show? I guess it's the question. Yeah. What's like, the what is the actual like? Why are people saying they're applauding? What is actually going? Yeah, I thought on the more this? fundamental question for usually the conservative. I don't know where Carl is politically right now, but like I'm happy usually to own the conservative position. Sure, the conservative position would usually be that drag is like men wearing women's clothing is kind of an abomination of like what a man ought to be or what a man should be. Right. So why would we expose our children to get them confused about their sexuality or the appropriate gender roles by taking them to places where men 
men are confused about their gender roles or their yeah, sexuality. That, that's what it's that seems a little bit hardline. I mean, that, in fact, bringing the what is hardline, but it's, that's it's conservative. Right? Will, will that affect no, the suicide no. rate? I don't know. <laughs> and that that's like saying every, everyone who leans left is a communist. Uh, no, well, no, but we, I'm saying like conservatives will have hardline like moral stances on things related to LGBT issues. No, not that they're that, hardline. That's right, a very right. extreme position for a conservative for anyone really. But like, the, I mean, this is why pantomime is funny, right? This is making light of men who dress as women. So, you know, it's not inappropriate for children, and it is just a figure of fun. Okay. Banger. <laughs>